Tayarisha my policy na B zile zitatusaidia hiyo to control kabisa hii menes ya sadi harvest. Kwa kadu ni chungu kwa kila mtu. Lakini tukiangalia wa laws zinakuwa very weak. Na sitaki kwanza kuja kuchukua komanda pende tukashika mtu na hatuna nani. Lakini tunaomba hiyo tuifanye kesi sana ndio tuwe tukishikana na neema tunaweza kucontrol sanda besti ikuwe ni ile inaonekana inasaidia mwananchi na saidia kaunti na pia tunaangalia mazingira yetu sije ikaa sana hiyo tu nimesema kutoka kwa vile nimeona kama waziri wa haina shida acha acha mazingira tuelekeze basi ya mwisho na hiyo sisi ndio tutasaidiana hii kauni ya kitui iko katika zile area ambako tunasema mvua inakuwa kidogo we are drought prone kauni na tukiongezea kuwa tuangalie mazingira yetu kukiingia drought inatuumiza sana hiyo njia pia tunataka kuangalie vile tutashikana na wafugaji uwe mtu aweke ngombe na mbuzi ile inaandikana na malisho yake. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengine mtu ana ngombe 200, mtu ana ngombe 50 na, na shamba yake ni waleka ama tuweka zama zileka. Sio ndio analisha kwa watu wengine. Pia nataka pia hiyo ifikirie sana ndio tuwe tuna balance ndio na mbuzi zilingane na shamba yako si kwanza kulisha kwa ndugu yako. Ya mwisho tutaendekari sana kupata nyasi. Tusaidie kushika mchana. E, kama waziri. Na najua leo tunasema sana beating the plastic. Lakini environment pia inataka tuangalie pollution. Kuna industrial pollution nile na haribu mito zetu hapa huku sio mingi sana labda pale kidui kalundu huyo mto ukiangalia maji ukikunywa labda hautaamuka asubuhi kwa sababu inaingia sumu nyingi ya kutoka hapa na pale hiyo ni kitu kingine pia siku za uzoni tutataka kama kitu tuwe tuwe kabisa wea maji ikichafuka ni sisi eh, mazingira yetu itachafuka na hewa yetu itachafuka maji taka ni shida kubwa ya mwisho Hizi beans zimewekwa hapa. Na kumbuka kuna wakati ministry tulijaribu sana area zile tajiri kama kileleshwa, eh, baiga, kwa wakia hizi beans zile separated. Ndiyo tuwe na separated eh, waste. Itakuwa raisi kwa hile cycle economy for recycling. Lakini baatibaya wala watu alori wakubeba hizi akifika zote anachangana sasa inakuwa sisi mwananchi effort yetu imekuwa imeharibika neema tutaomba wakati tutaja hapo na tunaendelea hapo zile license mnapatia watu wa kubeba taka lori yake pia tengenezwe blue inabeba nini kwa sababu akifika kule wanataka kujaza lori wapeleka huko eh eh and you call the place in Nairobi eh Dandora yeye anataka lori ya anachukua ile effort yako yote ndizi ndani chupa ndani sasa inakuwa imerudi square one labda na nyinyi mtafikiria wakati wa kupeana license za transport ya garbage mtu anasema wao nabeba nini ndio patue lori ile branded kuni mtu wa kubeba glasses kwanza akizoka kuongeza ndizi hapo katika recycling inakuwa shida hiyo ningetaka nifika hapo na vile nimefanya kutuma na excellence mruhusu as you commemorate World Environment Day, who's been with deep plastic pollution, ecosystem restoration. The United Nations General Assembly proclaimed in 5th uh, June the World Environment Day since 1973. And since then we have been celebrated in every country. You have been told Cote d'Ivoire is the one most in the global celebration. The day celebration raises awareness on the importance of environmental conservation, management, and sustainable development. 
On each word, countries, governments, and communities are encouraged to undertake local, national, and international efforts to organize activities involving sensitization and awareness creation on environmental conservation and management of both organic and inorganic waste. In many countries, sustainable waste management as well as waste prevention and reduction have become major political priorities, representing an important share of the common efforts to reduce pollution and greenhouse gas emissions and to mitigate global climate changes. And controlled waste dumping is no longer acceptable today, and even controlled landfill disposal and incineration of organic waste are not considered optimal practices. As environmental standards here of are increasing stricter and energy recovery and recycling of nutrients and organic matter is paramount. The above scenarios implicated in Kenya as well, as in every county, including Kitui County. Kitui and Mwingi towns and other upcoming urban centers have experienced an upsurge in generation of solid waste owing to their growing urban population. The current solid waste management strategies, where solid waste is either collected and disposed of in open dump sites or simply burned, are no longer environmentally acceptable. This has created a need for establishment of more effective, sustainable, and environment-friendly waste management strategy. The strategy of choice and strategy is attractive, resilient, and climate change urban centers for sustainable growth and development. We have formulated various environmental policies and legislation, including the three county environment and climate change policy 2023, Kitui County Climate Change Fund Regulation 2018, among others, and issues of sustainable waste management have been well articulated in these regulations. There are a lot of unexplained opportunities for sustainable waste management in Kitui County. Over 80% of our waste generated in the county is either recyclable or can be a source of raw materials. We are promoting waste desegregation at the source and in most cases at the household level. Once the waste is well segregated, it becomes easier to undergo full value chain and support business, which in turn can create employment opportunity for our youth and women. We are also encouraging interested parties and service providers to critically think and develop a strategy on how we can work together in exploiting these opportunities associated with the sustainable waste management in our county. I thank you. This is being celebrated in the Nakuru city. That's where the cabinet secretary and Asoma Kupayake.